Hello and thanks for watching this short video continuing our discussion on connecting applications, third-party apps, to your QuickBooks Online file. Now, T-Sheets, well-known, well-popular uh, timesheet, time clock entry system. This is not a how do you do T-Sheet video, tsheets.com. If you go to their website, they're going to have a lot of good training videos on how T-Sheets works. But after just a few short time today, uh, moments that I've spent with it. I connected T-Sheets to my QuickBooks Online file and just to remind people how I did that, I went to apps in the left hand sidebar of the QuickBooks Online file and you just choose the app of your choice that you're connecting. In my case it's T-Sheets, you sign in and then the kind of the import starts to work, the connection. It's real easy, just make sure you choose you know your QuickBooks Online company. File name, in case you're user ID for QuickBooks Online is linked to other company names. So as long as you choose the correct one and then you're routed here and then you'll be in your application of choice. So here are some of the timesheets that I've entered today uh, in T-Sheets. And T-Sheets has this neat little green drop down at the top for exporting all approved time, which I'm about to do because I want to show you how easy it is to sync on, on the back end. You won't even know what's happening, and we'll go into QBO and, and check out the time entry. And of course, where you can import things that you add to the QuickBooks Online file. You know, here are kind of the things that come in for me from QBO to T Sheets, the customers and jobs, service items, whether it's billable or not, my classes. And then, of course, I imported my vendors because I have some 1099C uh, vendors in there. I am imported them as employees as well, and I am connected as it tells you. So let's go over to the approvals on the left and I'm going to run a report just for today uh, and I'm going to look at all employees that would be available to that I can approve time for and then send to QBO. Obviously you can't export any time that hasn't been approved first and that's how you'd want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and send Clay's over. Go ahead and approve that one. And now under the little green drop down I can choose export all approved time. And these 6.18 hours for one person, you can even view the details if you want. And then you just click export all hours. And you see the little blue streak there and it says sync completed successfully. You can view the log after an import and export from T-Sheets. I really like that. Uh, so you know exactly what went over, etc. And again, there's no sync manager running on my desktop machine or my laptop that I had to install, which is great. Now if I go to the recent transactions, I'll see some time charges here. Right. And that's how it comes over. That easy, you know, build out at the rate, which is of the, the uh, sales price for the particular products and services in QBO. And then because it's billable, when I go to create an invoice for Carter and Bosch, Menez, the drawer will open up. I can add the time to the invoice, et cetera. So once connected from QuickBooks Online to your app of choice, you're hooking up to your QBO file. It's just so sweet how the sync works behind the scenes in this case uh, loving on the t-sheets here hope that was helpful have a great day